Tesla Cybertruck spotted with frunk open on semi-car hauler. The market launch of the Tesla Cybertruck is inching closer and closer to its expected date sometime next month. And the Austin-based EV maker is apparently shifting things into high gear before the start of deliveries. With more and more all-electric pickups being spotted all over the country in the past week. In this latest sighting, posted on X by the user Kuel Shi, a pair of Cybertrucks were seen on the back of a Tesla semi-car hauler. But what's slightly more interesting is the fact that at one point during the unloading process, one of the pickups had its frunk open, giving us another perspective on how big the front trunk of this highly anticipated vehicle really is. We still don't know the dimensions, but judging from the photos in the embedded post below, it looks like the frunk opening is about the same size as the hood opening on a midsize ice-powered crossover SUV, albeit a slightly different shape. It's also worth noting that two of the men you can see in the images appear to be holding the frunk hood with their hands. Which indicates that this particular vehicle is still a prototype, seeing how it doesn't have struts or springs to hold it open without help. We still don't know what linkage will be used for the trunk opening, but a patent that was reportedly published in June describes a nifty mechanism that includes an actuator, a counterweight member, latches, a switch, a controller, and various sensors. With everything in place, the tailgate and possibly the frunk could be opened and closed remotely from a key fob or the smartphone app. A previously leaked video that was reportedly shot inside the Austin Gigafactory where the Cybertruck is currently in the pre-production phase shows a smaller than expected frunk. At least compared to the the Ford F-150 Lightning, which appears to have a deeper storage area. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. Tesla batteries don't damage due to fast charging study shows. Tesla batteries do not get damaged due to fast charging, which was previously mentioned as one of the concerns. The data was obtained in a study of thousands of Model 3s and Model Ys in the USA study by Recurrent has shown that for your Tesla battery, it does not matter where you charge the vehicle. On fast chargers or from the home outlet, vehicle batteries are not damaged, which allayed the fears of some owners. Previously, this was a matter of speculation, despite the fact that the owners tried to dispel this myth, based on their own experience. Some people believed that frequent charging at fast charging stations would lead to irreparable, long-term range loss. Recurrent has studied fast charging on more than 12,500 Tesla vehicles in the U.S. The goal was to find out if the software and safety mechanisms in the battery management system BMS prevent battery damage. For this, the two best-selling models with the largest number of owners were taken. 6,300 Model 3 and 4,400 Model Y recurrent compared cars that fast charge at least 90% of the time to cars that fast charge less than 10% of the time. That is, two extreme cases are considered. This gave an exhaustive answer to the question. Is the battery of Tesla electric vehicles damaged if they are constantly fast charged? The results show no statistically significant difference in range degradation between Teslas that fast charge more than 90% of the time and those that fast charge less than 10% of the time, concluded Recurrent. The Recurrent team suggested that the results of the study could be applied to other Tesla models and to other electric vehicles of other manufacturers. However, it is worth considering that not all of them have the same software and security mechanisms in the battery management system. While the data may apply to other Tesla models, it may differ for other brands of electric vehicles. However, it can be concluded that vehicles from companies that place particular emphasis on providing reliable temperature, voltage and battery management systems may indeed have a similar result. Source Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. 
Police spare Tesla CEO Elon Musk from fine over illegal livestream while driving. Last week, Tesla CEO Elon Musk livestreamed the test drive of a Model S, apparently equipped with version 12 of the full self-driving FSD V12 suite. Critics lashed out at him on X, formerly Twitter, for recording while being seated in the driver's seat, which is a violation in California. The low-quality livestream showed Musk and Tesla's head of autopilot Ashok Elaswamy sharing details about the artificial intelligence-powered FSD V12. While the Model S drove semi-autonomously around Palo Alto streets. Despite violating California state law, Musk won't be fined for the offense. The Palo Alto Police Department said that officers didn't witness the crime themselves, which is why Musk won't get a ticket. Had an officer observed the driver with the phone in their hand, they could have issued the driver an infraction ticket for violating California's hands-free law. Palo Alto PD Captain James Reifschneider told The Verge. The billionaire tech magnate appeared to be in control of the Model S, and he promptly intervened when the FSD V12 attempted to jump a red light. If Musk had been issued a ticket, he'd have to pay only $20 the fine for first-time offenders. Officers can issue a $50 fine for each subsequent offense, as per the California Legislative Code. Tesla's autopilot is the subject of multiple ongoing investigations. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA wrote in a recent letter to the company that it found the autopilot to be operating for extended periods without prompting the driver to apply torque to the steering wheel. NHTSA asked the EV maker to respond or face a hefty fine. The brand is also facing lawsuits over safety concerns. Plaintiffs in two deadly crashes involving Tesla EVs in California and Florida have argued that the autopilot either caused the accidents or didn't take measures to prevent them. Tesla and Jeff Dan's Million Mile Battery Needs a Name Upgrade Tesla and Jeff Dan once teased the development of a battery cell that would last 1 million miles. For years, Tesla fans, enthusiasts, and those interested in battery technology were heavily invested in Dan's research, which led to the idea that the batteries in electric vehicles would outlast the vehicles themselves. Dan's office at Dalhousie University features a lineup of heavy-hitting scientists and engineers who have all worked cohesively with Tesla and its research chair, Chang Yin Yang. One of them is Michael Metzger, who has been with Dan's lab at Dalhousie since January 2021, when Tesla and the Battery Research Facility renewed their partnership. Tesla renews contract with Jeff Dan's battery team at Dalhousie University. Over the years of the Tesla-Dan partnership, the automaker, as well as the team of engineers, have developed strategies to promote battery longevity. Various patents, like an electrolyte solvent and new revolutionary electrode designs, were geared toward helping battery cells reach thousands of life cycles, enabling 1 million miles of operation. Tesla 1 million mile battery in sight with new electrolyte solvent patent. In a recent interview with Electric Autonomy, Metzger detailed the various developments that have come from working with Tesla over the past several years. One of the things Metzger shared was the various battery cell designs that the Dalhousie battery team has engineered for Tesla. Among the designs and chemistries, LFP lithium iron phosphate and NMC nickel manganese cobalt are two that were discussed during the interview. While LFP is considered second best, NMC has taken the top spot, according to Metzger. Initially, it was capable of thousands of cycles, but it now has the capacity to run 19,500 cycles and counting. Each cycle is 300 kilometers. So, if it were at 20,000 cycles, it would be 6 million kilometers, Metzger said in the interview. 6 million kilometers is equal to 3,728,227 miles. The technology has nearly quadrupled in the past few years.
Dan said in an interview with the Nickel Institute earlier this year that the team had developed and demonstrated batteries that were capable of these massive numbers. We may be some years away from these batteries being put into a consumer setting. Additionally, NMC batteries feature cobalt, a controversial material that has proven benefits in terms of cell cycle stability. Automakers are opting for LFP cells in their lower range vehicles. Tesla transitioned to these packs in standard range EVs in 2021. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla to be key sponsor in first ever Pwn 2 own automotive event. Trend Micro Incorporated, a global cybersecurity leader, recently announced that Tesla will be a key sponsor for its first ever Pwn 2 own automotive event. Participants would be competing for cash prizes totaling $1 million, as well as Tesla vehicles. Pwn 2 own automotive is a hacking competition focused on automotive security. The goal of the event is to encourage more security research into the automotive ecosystem, incentivize vendors to participate in the community, and raise awareness of the multiple, complex subcomponents of modern vehicles. The event will be held January 24, 26, 2024, at the Automotive World Conference in Tokyo. Tesla will be the title sponsor of the event, and ChargePoint will be a partner. Zero Day Initiative ZDI and Vic One, a subsidiary of Trend Micro specializing in automotive security, will co host the event. Brian Gorink, VP of Threat Research at Trend Micro, shared his excitement about the upcoming event. Pwn 2 Own is a key pillar in Trend's Zero Day Initiative ZDI, which has been helping us discover new vulnerabilities in consumer industrial, and emerging technology for years. We're delighted to welcome Tesla as title sponsor as we redouble our efforts to expand our influence in the field of automotive cybersecurity, Gorink said. This is not the first time that Tesla has worked with Trend Micro and Pwn 2 Own. As noted in a press release, Tesla's extensive knowledge of the complexities of electric vehicles has made past initiatives successful. ZDI has also contributed a lot to online security, with the initiative being responsible for the discovery and publication of 1,706 new vulnerabilities last year. Pwn 2 Own Automotive would feature four categories. The first is specifically focused on Tesla's electric vehicles, where contestants can win cash prizes of up to $200,000 and their own car. Contestants can register an entry against an AMD Ryzen-based Model 3 Model Y or Model S Model X equivalent benchtop unit. The second category is focused on in-vehicle infotainment IVI, which is becoming popular among hackers. The third category deals with EV chargers, which is seeing some attacks as well. The final category of the event is focused on vehicle operating systems and it will require contestants to find and exploit vulnerabilities in automotive-grade Linux, BlackBerry QNX, and Android Automotive OS. Source. Reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Teslarati.